Ready to begin again? Well, this week, you'll have the chance. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rose from numerologist.com and this is your cosmic update for April 26th to May 2nd. As always, I'll give you a cosmic overview of the week and then I'll break the week down day by day to show you what you can expect each and every day. At the end, you can head to the link in the description to sign up to get this update straight to your inbox each and every Monday and get a more comprehensive look at the week. Okay, here we go. This week, we launch into a brand new month and it signals a brand new start. May's number one code resets the numerological clock. This is the best chance you've had since January 1st to realign, refresh and restart. But before you get there, you'll have to navigate through some emotionally charged energies. In the final days of April's number nine code, you'll feel a strong sense that things are coming to their natural end. Here's a tip. Go with it. Now's the time to release what's no longer serving you so you can wipe the slate clean. Heading into the new numerological cycle, unobstructed by unnecessary baggage is vital. Luckily, with tonight's supermoon, the universe is giving you all the tools you need. Woohoo! That said, it's not going to be an easy ride. This lunation will shine a light on your vulnerabilities and highlight your insecurities too. Now we'll look at the week day by day. Monday. Tonight, a super intense, emotional full moon in Scorpio will grace the night skies. This full moon will likely be the most profound of the year so far, because it's not just any regular old full moon, it's a super moon. Tuesday, Pluto will station retrograde today and there it will remain until October 6th. Yep, that's five whole months of pure Pluto retrograde action. Now, while Pluto may not have the infamous reputation of Mercury, when it comes to retrogrades, trust me when I tell you that Pluto isn't playing small. It's here to unravel you from the inside out. Wednesday. Today, the moon moves through the deep and mystic waters of Scorpio, the sign of her fall. The moon in Scorpio is an intense lunar transit. Under the Scorpio moon's gaze, everything turns black and white. There is no middle ground when it comes to emotion. Like the element, the water sign knows no bounds when it comes to depth, breadth and intensity of emotion. So what you feel is likely to become all consuming. Lucky you. (laughs) Thursday. When Mercury sextiles Neptune today, it will bring creativity in abundance. So if you've been wanting to start writing that book or exploring your artistic side, now might be the time to put pen or paintbrush to paper. Friday. Excitement, freedom and cheeky rebellion. Sound like fun? Well, that's exactly what's on the cards when the sun conjuncts Uranus today. And breaking free from old routines is the number one way to embrace the vibe of the day. Are you ready? Saturday. Happy Beltane Day. Welcome to May, a number one universal month. Now, May is our favorite month for a lot of reasons. There's fresh energy, new growth, better weather. But there's also an amazing Celtic festival that happens on the 1st, which is today, Beltane Day. This day celebrates the midpoint between the spring equinox and the summer solstice, and you really need to know about it. You can head to the link in the description to find out more. Sunday. If you've got a favour to ask, waiting till Mercury trans Pluto today might be a good idea. Under this sky, your ability to convince people to help you or to support your message will be heightened. Excited for this week? Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you get next week's video right away. And remember, you can head to the link in the description for a more comprehensive look at the week too. You can also head to the link in the description to find out how you can sign up to get this cosmic update direct to your inbox too. See you next week.